Okay, so let's get started. We'll do some review on page 63 in your bookers. And then we'll do a little bit after the story on page 72. All right, let's get it. Well, the first part is, oh, let's restart that. First part is, have you ever? Start with simple question and answer. Have you ever played baseball? And you can either answer yes or no. The yes answer is, yes, I have. It was fun. She Yes, I have. It was fun. Good. Now, your exam has this, but also a longer answer. It would look like this. Yes, yes, I have. Or yes, I have played baseball. Some exam questions will take this and put it here. Others will just have this. So just so you know. Now here's some practice. Now this is another question, but it's all scrambled. So, what word goes first? Have. Mm, yeah, have. You. You. Ever been? Ever been? Top on a mountain. Ah, yeah, very close, very close. But we'll just make a switch little, quick little change on a mountain top. Yeah. So, have you ever been on a mountain top? Yeah. Now, for the answer, let's say yes. Have you ever been on a mountain top? We're going to take, yeah, okay. Yes, I have been on a mountain top. Yes, I have been on a mountain top. Okay. Here's another example. Uh, this is a maid. Maid. So, what word goes first? Have. Yeah. Have. You. You. Ever. Ever. Been lost. Yes, been lost. In a maze. In a maze, yeah. So, have you ever been lost in a maze? And we can answer two ways no i haven't no i haven't or no i haven't been lost in the maze okay so here's the next part when did you cha-cha? Yeah, so, same question. Have you ever played baseball? Yes, I have. It was fun. And then when? When did you play baseball? And maybe answer. Uh, she, Jacques. 
I played baseball last week. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Here we have an answer. Okay. So, what word would go first? I. I. Swim. Well. Some dolphins. Uh, we did some dolphins. It's a uh... cute, cute dolphins last summer. Yeah, nice job. <laughs> yeah, so, I sw I swam with some cute dolphins last summer. So that could be the question or the answer. What about the question? Uh, question. When did you swim with the dolphins? Okay, so uh, can you say, she, Jacques? When did you swim with the dolphins? Yeah, that's the question and then answer. I swam with some cute dolphins last summer. Here's one, horses, horses. So, uh, what goes first? I yeah. rode the brown horses. Yes, I rode brown horses. With my friends last month. Very good, okay. There we are, so. I rode brown horses with my friends last month. Okay, so that's an answer. Here's the question. When did you ride a horse? So, uh, she, Jacques? When did you ride a horse? Yeah, so when did you ride a horse? Answer? I rode brown horses with my friends last month. Okay. So there's that. This next part. Here we go. Page 72, right here. Now, this will be pretty easy. Uh, the first thing we need to start with is more. More. So more and less. We've got some words here. Interesting. More interesting. Popular. More popular, expensive, less expensive, dangerous, more dangerous. And boring, less boring. Now, many of these words, interesting, interesting, or Popular, popular, okay. expensive, three, dangerous, three, boring is only two, boring, only two. But most of these words are three or four, so they need more or less. So, long adjectives like these usually need more or less. Dangerous, expensive, popular. That's right. Now, here's an example. Uh, cheetah, monkey. Whoa. So, I'll let you choose. Which is more dangerous? Cheetah. A cheetah is more dangerous than a monkey. Yes, 
cheetah, more dangerous than a monkey. All right. Which is less dangerous? Asia. A monkey is less dangerous than te a teacher. A teacher. Uh, cheetah. Cheetah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. good. Let's try this set. So we got monkey, dog, human. Okay, and I've got some words here. Intelligent, friendly, dangerous. So, a monkey is more dang dang than a human. Which one? Dangerous. Yeah, I guess dangerous. All right. A monkey is more dangerous than a human. A monkey is less mm -mm, than a dog. Friendly. Friendly. Good job. Man. Monkey is less friendly than a dog. A dog is less mm -mm, than a human. Intelligent. Yeah. A dog is less intelligent than a human. A human is more mm -mm than a monkey. Intelligent. Yeah, that'll work. So, a human is more intelligent than a monkey. Okay. So that's more and less. Next. Most. Most. We have most or least. And it's the same rule, interesting, most interesting, popular, most popular, expensive, least expensive, dangerous, most dangerous. So same rule, long adjectives like these, sometimes just twos like these, but usually they're long. They need uh, most or least. And it just means number one. Most just means number one. Okay, let's try this set. Okay, so beautiful, dangerous, intelligent. And we've got eagle, shark, human. So I'll let you choose, and you can just say, Shijak. An um, eagle is the most beautiful, beautiful bird. Yeah, okay, that works, good. And two. A uh, shark is the most dangerous animal. Yes, good, all right. A human is the most intelligent animal. Yes, okay. So an eagle is the most beautiful bird. A shark is the most dangerous animal. A human is the most intelligent animal. Okay. Good, good. Last part here. So really short, tiny words like smart, fast. Slow, big, small, cute, ugly. All of these are uh, one or two. So smart, fast, slow, big, small, tall, cute. The ugly is two, ugly. So if it's one or two, you just add S. So smart. Smartest, fast, fastest, slow, slowest, big, biggest, and so on. So most words just add S. Uh, some words you add an extra letter. And some words you change Y to I. A couple more examples would be like pretty, pretty, 
prettiest, tiny, tiniest. Right. Let's try these animals here. Got the trusty cheetah, hummingbird, and then this is a dog breed called the bull terrier. Bull terrier. Uh, oh, I'm going to show you the words. So we have ugly, ugliest, fast, fastest, and small, smallest. Well, I'll let you choose Shi uh, Sha. Cheetah is a. Uh... Yeah, we'll start here. Sure, okay, we'll start here. A cheetah is the fastest land animal in the world. Oh, yeah, so fastest check. And let's try this one. A hummingbird is the smallest bird. Yeah, the smallest bird in the world. And then a bull terrier. The bull, bull terrier? Is the ugliest dog breed. Yeah, yeah they're, they're loving dogs, but very ugly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where are we going? So, thank you. And next, we just got to make sure we finish the textbook. Hmm. Ah, did we do the uh, video? I think we did. Uh, Pretty sure we did. Let me double check. Real life talk. Thank you. Yeah, we did it. Oh, 64. Page. Yeah. Should be on page sixty four. Hey, yeah, page sixty four. Uh, uh, did did we already watch or no? What? Oh, we watch. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, so skip. Your turn. All right. This is the part I wanted to do. Okay. So we're going to make some questions with these. So. When did you cha-cha-cha? So uh, let's start with uh, here. So can you make a question with when did you mm, 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 mm. when when did you play sports? Yes. Okay. So when did you play sports? Okay. And then let's do table tennis. Table tennis and yesterday. So what would be a good answer? I played the table tennis yesterday. That's right. Okay, cool, good. Right. Table tennis yesterday. 
Whoop. Okay. Right. And then we'll do just uh, maybe one more. Do this one. So, how can you make a question? When did you listen to music? Yes, when did you listen to music? When did you listen to music? And we'll do number one here. And let's do um, last night. I, I listened mm -hmm. to classic music last night. Yes, okay. I listened to classical music last night. Okay, all right, so that's good practice. I think we're pretty much finished that chapter. Yeah, all right. So we'll stop there. We've pretty much finished everything I want to cover today. So uh, next class will be a review, textbook review of everything that I know will be on the uh, final exam. So everything from the last two chapters. We'll cover that so you'll be ready. So all finished. So bye-bye and have a good weekend. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.